Hi, my name is Jody Sperling. I'm a dancer choreographer and the artistic director of Time Lapse Dance, and I'm a New York native. I grew up in Greenwich Village. My mom is a professor at NYU, so I grew up in the NYU faculty housing on Bleecker Street. The apartment that she still lives in, the one I grew up in, has an amazing south-facing view. So I grew up on the 16th floor uh, with a picture window looking at the Twin Towers every day. I went to the Joffrey Ballet School, and I started studying when I was six years old with Miss Dorothy. And Miss Dorothy was a pretty strict Russian-trained um, ballet teacher, and she had a stick, and she had a really mean voice, and she used to yell at us all the time when we were doing our ballet routines. Despite the fact that she was mean, I just fell in love with dancing. I knew right when I graduated college that I wanted to choreograph. When I found my niche, I got this gig uh, to perform at the Library of Congress, and it was the first time that I ever did a Loewy Fuller style dance. She was a pioneer of lighting technology and an innovator in stagecraft and design, and she used projections, including multimedia projections, onto her costumes. It was the first time that I was really able to feel this sense of expansion and of my body occupying so much space and of this incredible power that I had. That was really exciting to me. The name of my dance company is Time Lapse Dance. The idea of a time lapse shows you the trajectory from past to present. The piece that I'm working on now is called Time Lapse Fantasy, and it explores the idea of the connection between ancestral spirits and the unborn. Imagine that there are remnants from those that came before and that that creates something that is concrete and if you can materialize it that is what theater is about it's about making what you can't see real so there are constant challenges um, to doing what I do in order to be a dancer you have to spend at least two hours every day just maintaining your technique and then on top of that you need to be for lack of a better word, hustling <laughs> and trying to get people to like and understand what you're doing. But at the same time, if you have a strong enough sense of urgency about what you're doing, you can kind of steamroll ahead and make things happen. So my life has changed in the last couple of years because I'm a mom. I have an absolutely beautiful, amazing 22-month-old girl named Evie who is an inspiration to me and an amazing amazing dancer. Before I was a mom, I might be able to stay up late and just squeeze through and like get a little extra done. And now, uh, you know, there's a certain cut up. I have to be home. I have to feed my child. I have to put her to bed. And that's, you know, where the workday ends. But I never really knew my neighbors intimately the way that I do now that I have a kid. Because now you walk down the street and you run into all of the other parents you see at the playground or in tumbling class or in swimming class. And all of a sudden, you, you realize how incredibly connected you are to a place. This is the only place that I can live. New York is in my blood, it's in my body, it's in the rhythm of what I do. For me, New York is not just about dance and about work, but it's about life and it's about family and it's about rhythm. So there's a constant dance and interaction that you're doing with people that you don't have to do in places where there's a little more open space. And I think that you're constantly getting inspired by what you see um, and how you move. And one of the things that being a dancer helps you do is it helps you occupy the space that you are in, everything that you have to do in your daily life. You want to do with uh, conviction and with a sense of purpose in your motion. New York is my hometown. And a lot of dancers and choreographers come to New York to dance and to make it families here. And I feel a connection to the street. For just a 
the rhythm of the, the street lights and how the, I know intuitively when the light is gonna go red and how much time I have to get across the street before that car would hit me. That is so ingrained in me that whenever I've been away, I really physically miss the city.